What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is time again to start getting everything ready for the next Bassmaster Open. We are headed to Logan Martin down in Alabama and this one's going to be a little bit different because there is still no boat. Uh, my boat's still in the shop getting fixed. So this, trying to get ready for this has been a little bit different, not gonna lie. Uh, I don't really know what to do. But I'm just gonna pack up all this stuff and throw it in here and get ready to hit the road. Uh, yeah, never been to Logan Martin. Actually, sorry, have been to Logan Martin. Pre-practiced a little bit. It's, that's not what the fish are gonna be doing right now, but it was good to get out there and just kind of familiarize myself with the body of water at least. Spent some time driving around with Doug Chapin, who, is the man and helping me out and let me borrow his boat to fish this tournament. So huge shout out to Doug Chapin. If you don't know who he is, you need to go check him out on Instagram, on TikTok, every single thing on social media, you gotta go check it out. He's an awesome dude and he's really doing me a solid by letting me jump into his Vexus and compete in this tournament. Cause you know, like I'm fishing all nine trying to get to the EQs. If you miss one, you're done. Like there's no point. So. Yeah, it's been a stretch. The Lord blessed us with, I should say, he blessed me with this time in Doug's schedule where he can be without his boat and I can use it and jump in it. He's nice enough to let me do it. So, let's get this stuff packed up and we gotta get on the road. So let's go. We got most of the truck packed. Whew. That's a lot of stuff. We still got a couple rods to throw in there, but we're almost done. Ready to hit the dang road. We go and catch the dang. Well, we made it. We made it down here to Alabama. I'm sitting in the boat, just getting everything organized and uh, just rigging some rods and I'm about ready to crash. Um, it's been a journey to say the least to just get here. Very thankful to even be here and to be able to be in a boat and to fish in this tournament. Um, super blessed to have really good people in my life like Doug who uh, lend me his boat for the week so I can still compete, gather some EQ points and try and qualify for the Bassmaster Elite Series and possibly get a Bassmaster Classic bird. So that's huge, a huge shout out to him. Big thank you, big, big thank you. Um, but all that being said, we still have a job to do this week. And as I just stated, is to gather as many EQ points as I can and try to qualify for a Bassmaster Classic. So, um, I'm nowhere near done rigging rods. I've got, uh, about six combos ready to get me started in the morning. Uh, just a general idea of what I want to do and um, try to catch them some ways that I think they should be caught. But I got everything in here. I got all my reels, I got a bunch of spare rods, so I'm ready to rig up whatever I need. Uh, and this boat is weighted down with a ton of tackle because this place is pretty diverse. I mean, you can fish current, you can fish lake type stuff, you can fish shallow, you can fish deep, you can fish rocks, you can fish brush. Like there's just a bunch of different stuff that you can do. I'm gonna sample a little bit of everything uh, and try to dial that in the first couple days. That way towards the end of practice, I can really hone in on what these fish are doing. Um, but yeah, I am exhausted after a day of travel and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get out on the water but I'll keep you guys updated with practice and how it all goes. Um, haven't really figured out the GoPro situation yet, uh, just because of, you know, the mounting, different boat, um, all that kind of stuff. Shouldn't really be that big of an issue. I mean, Doug's a really big social media guy. He's got GoPro mounts all over the place on this thing, but we're gonna figure that out at a later time. I'll keep you guys updated on how practice goes. We'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, y'all, day one of practice for Logan Martin's about to kick off. I slept in a little bit, as you can tell, it's already light outside, but it is what it is. 
had to get some rest, had to feel rested. I spent all night out in this boat trying to rig it up. So we're gonna get ourselves going right with some mega water this morning. That's how you get there when practice started. It's a rare one out here. Wrapping up practice. Practice has been, eh, eh. I can get bit, but big ones are few and far between. So it does seem like the fish are in every stage. I mean, I've seen some on beds. There's a lot of post spawners, and I don't. People say there's pre spawners, but I don't know. It's been so weird with the spring and how warm it got so quick. So we got fish in all different stages. Uh, I have a little bit of a game plan. There is a shad spawn going on. Just depends if the fish are on the shad spawn. That is the key. There are shad spawning everywhere. Logan Martin is full of bait. There's tons of bait out here. Um, but it seemed like in most places, the bass hadn't found the bait yet. So I got a couple, I say like two areas that have fish eating the bait in the morning. And one of those areas, I've had a couple quality bites. So I'm going to go there first. I'm shooting for... 12 to 13 pounds but putting me at 12 to 13 pounds gives me one big bite away from really having a bag for how this place is fishing i did catch one largemouth that was about four pounds in practice we're going to try and run that later in the afternoon but i got to get a limit do that first see if i can get it on 10 11 pounds and then go hunt down a big head we're boat 40 aaron is going to ride with me aaron Scripchak. he's with luke palmer and i think luke has a co so i don't so he's going to come with me and video me tomorrow so we're gonna have some fun out in the boat i got a pile of rods here rigged up but we're ready to go boat 40 doing it i don't even know what time i'll have to look but we got some organizing to do get all this out of here so we can try to make this vexus go almost as fast as the bass cat i don't think it's going to happen but we're going to do it again looking forward to it ready to get out there after it We'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Day one is about to kick off here. We are in the water, We're getting ready to go. Got all the tackle out last night, laid it all out, and boy, do we got a full deck of rods. But we're about 40 this morning, ready to get after it. It's gonna be a junky day. We're just gonna go around, fish anything that looks good, offshore, shallow, and anywhere in between to try and come in with 12 plus pounds. That is my goal, 12 plus pounds. And we'll be sitting pretty good in the standings. I feel like chatter's been, it's been pretty tough, but every single time we come to a place, they catch what lives here. So you gotta go out looking for the big ones. So we're gonna go out there and give it all we got. We got Scripchak riding with us today, so I'm excited about that. He's gonna be recording a little bit, taking some photos, and just gonna have a lot of fun having a buddy in the boat. So ready to get after it. Day one it starts now. Like yesterday, it was a little chilly, and then all of a sudden, like, oh. Yeah, it's like somebody went with this with the heat dial. Yeah. And I looked at the temps and what it's going to do today. It's about the same thing. Yep. It's just going to crank up. Might be number one. Might be. <laughs> Holy smokes. B12 inches. <gasps> we got a keeper. <laughs> On the board. Wow. Okay, hey, we get a. Like that, we'll have five pounds. Yep. Boom. 
setting the world on fire here. out of the dirt. Backflip. <laughs> Sticks the landing. It wasn't anything special, but it would have been number two. Yeah. I'd be more upset if it was a giant. <laughs> yeah. But it was still something. I haven't lost a fish on a wacky rig all week either. thing in the world, you know? Oh yeah. Right. Any naysayer of the five scope has really never used it. Gosh, they swerve this thing so dang hard. There's so many spotted bass down there, it's making me sick. I dropped it right next to one and he just and then just danced all around it. Never grabbed it. by the bait ball. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're right there. Why isn't he throwing there? Uh, could, you, could you see him? Yeah. Oh, father. <laughs>
like I bit that once. I really don't know what I'm like. I'm not doing anything different than I did in practice. <laughs> That's I just don't get it. I don't know. Well, I'm trying to stay positive. Like we're around fish. I'm getting bites. So yeah. it's just a matter of time until we get a couple more to actually take the bait all the way and put them in the boat. I mean, I could. I don't want to change my entire setup. I could throw it on a heavier rod, but I don't think that's the issue. I just think I need a longer hook because they're short striking. They ain't getting the whole bait, probably because they're so pressured. They're a little leery about what they're eating. Oh. <laughs> By the way, you set the hook and it just dogs you. Yeah. I literally thought you were snag. Yeah. Nope, that's just a big old spotted bass. places yep, gotta start somewhere yep this is the turnaround right here yep. started with that 12 or 11 and 3 quarter incher yep. Come 
Another one, did you see that? Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yep. Hmm? Hmm. That was so cool. That yeah, was so cool. He was jumping pretty good. Yeah, he was. I was a little worried on the boat, but I, I was done messing around with him. I'm like, get in here. Forty. 